I deal with a lot of stress and stress can really hurt you and affect your health. I know that everybody listening knows exactly what I'm talking about. Stress can bring you down, it can raise your blood pressure, it can cause disease, diabetes, arthritis. Stress can lead to obesity and all kinds of other health issues. Stress has been linked to poor sleep and cancer and lowered immune system, which leads to infections, colds, flus, you name it. So how do we deal with stress? So this is part one of a two part series about stress management. I'm going to tell you all about stress. This first video is more the conceptual part of what is stress, what does it mean to me, and generally what do I need to do about it. And So let's get started. Stress is a force that causes change in your life. That's all it is. Stress is like gravity. It keeps your feet on the ground, but it can cause you to fall and get hurt. So it's neither good or bad. Stress is like fire. It can cook your food. It can burn your hand. Doesn't mean it's good or bad. Stress is like money. Money actually can put your kids through college and let you have a nice, luxurious, enjoyable life, or it can fund terrorist activity, which can lead to disaster. And so stress is a force that causes change in your life. Now, stress is going to come at you in three dimensions. It's going to come at you in a psycho-emotional way. Let's say you have a disagreement with someone and you're upset about that. That's psycho-emotional. Or you have financial issues. That's psycho-emotional. It affects you on a psychological level. Stress can come at you in a physical way. You sit too long. You have bad posture. You have to bend all the time for work. Or you're lifting things things, you're twisting, you're on your feet all day. Those are physical stresses. And then there is chemical stresses or biochemical stresses. Those are stressors where you're exposed to a lot of smoke, you're exposed to irritants, you're exposed to chemicals that may not be good for you. You touch things that can be toxic. You're eating things that are toxic. You're inhaling things that are toxic. Food, or you're not getting enough nutrition. You're missing some of the major vitamins and minerals that your body needs. All of that can cause biochemical stress. Now, here's what's interesting. Most of us only deal with the psycho-emotional one, if at all, and we ignore the other two. Yet for you to be healthy, you have to address all three dimensions of stress simultaneously. Extremely important. Now listen, stress is relative. When you were in first grade and you had a spelling test coming up and you had to spell three letter words, it was hard. Oh my gosh, how do you spell cat and bat and mat and rat? It's tough. It's difficult. You have to memorize. You have to practice it. Now, when you're in high school, someone said, we're going to give you a spelling test and you're going to spell three letter words. You wouldn't even study for that test because you've gone past it. It's not stressful for you anymore. And so the stress you're dealing with today right now, believe it or not, one day it's going to be easy for you. If you're a college athlete and you're managing your athletics as well as your classes, as well as your social life and everything else, my goodness, you're juggling a lot of things. And then you go into the real world and you get a job. You're like, man, this is stressful because I have bills now. And then you have a family and it's a lot and it can bring you down. It can really stress you out. Then, you know, other things happen in life and you go, man, that was nothing. So you're growing. So you got to understand stress can help you grow. Stress can help you step up. You level up in stress. And so you have to understand when you look at the stress in your life right now, you go, how can I level up? How can I make this stress seem easy? How can I make this stress seem like first grade spelling test with three letter words? And you could do it, but you got to address the three dimensions, right? So those three dimensions have two sides. Imagine if they're each a coin. You have three coins. One coin is labeled psycho-emotional. One coin is labeled physical. And one coin is labeled biochemical. Now each coin has two sides to it. So let's go to the psycho-emotional side. Psycho-emotional, one side is you got to feed your body, feed your mind with positive things, positive pictures, positive messages, positive news, positive information, hang around people who build you up. They help you. They strengthen you. They motivate you. They encourage you. That's the positive side of the psycho-emotional dealing with stress. Now that same coin, the other side of it is the negative part. You got to eliminate some of the negatives. We all have things that drain our energy. They drain our body. They drain our positive emotions. Like when you watch the news and you get frustrated with some of these politicians, saying crazy things. You're like, why are we even talking about this? Why is our government spending money on this when it could be doing this? That brings you down. That's negativity, right? So listen, I'm not telling you not to watch the news. Watch the news, but watch it in the morning, not in the evening. In the morning, your cortisol levels are high and they're supposed to be high. In the evening, you want cortisol levels to go down. You don't want a lot of negativity in your life. So you're going to watch the news, watch it before noon, before lunch or at lunch. I don't know. First thing in the morning, that's cool. But in the evening, watch sports highlights. The second coin we said was physical. Physical, one side of 
is proper exercise. If you could do a few minutes of exercise every day, get your heart pumping and blood flowing, you're going to be healthier. You're going to manage that stress a lot better. Also, the physical stress in your life wasn't going to seem so bad. So if you have to be on your feet all day, but you now can run three miles, but then it's not going to be as hard being on your feet all the time or the steps you have to take isn't going to be difficult. So you train for that physical side by exercising. But the other side of the coin is rest. If you're not getting enough rest, you're not recovering and then you can't exercise and your exercise won't be beneficial for you. So one side is exercise, one side is rest. That's a physical dimension. The third coin is biochemical, right? So one side of that coin is nutrition. Am I low in vitamin D? Do I need more minerals? Do I need more vegetables and fruits in my diet? Should I increase my carbohydrates? Do I need more protein? Am I eating too much processed foods, too much sugar? That's the other side of the coin, by the way, is the negative, is the toxins, right? So not only do you have to feed your body with the nutrients that it needs, but you have to eliminate the toxins that are in you. Are you touching things that are bad for you? Are you using cosmetics that are toxic? Research those. Find out what the ingredients are. There could be toxins in all of that. Sunscreen can be toxic. Use some organic sunscreens. You want to reduce and eliminate toxins Is your water pure. Are you drinking water that has lead or mercury in it? Are you eating fish that has mercury in it? Feed the deficiencies and eliminate the toxicities. So you do those three dimensions, you address the three dimensions on both sides of the coin simultaneously, your ability to tolerate stress increases. See, it's not about how much stress you have in your life. It's how much stress you can safely handle. That's what's important. It's not that, oh my gosh, I need to reduce the stress. You really want to reduce stress. You need to leave your family and quit your job. That's how you reduce stress. That's the best way to reduce. That's where most of the stress comes from. But who wants that? See, anything you want in life comes with stress. You want to start a business. Business, you want to improve your finances, you want to advance in your career, you want to be a better person, you want to be a better athlete. All of that comes with stress. You have to train, you have to practice, you have to work, you have to beat yourself up so that you evolve and transform into somebody who can handle that stress. I'm not telling you never reduce stress. There is time where you have to say no. There's times you have to reduce the stressors in your life. But for the most part, let's focus on getting stronger, healthier, so that stress doesn't seem hard so it doesn't knock you down so it doesn't bring you down that's how you level up so that was part one of the video on how to manage stress part two i'm going to give you specific practical things you're going to do 10 things you're going to do that are going to help you improve your ability to tolerate stress so you can level up share the video subscribe hit the like button if you liked it regardless i'm grateful that you watched